Today we'll be talking about the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation. So today we'll be talking about the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation, and what I would like each of you to do is to pull out a piece of paper and trace your hand, because what we'll be doing is we'll be following along with the video, and the video is a hand, and each finger represents one of the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation. So pull out that piece of paper now and get that ready to go. When we talk about the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation, there are five things that I want to focus on that lead to a sixth thing. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six things about the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation. The first one, let's grab our pink and let's write on our pinky. We know that it's our weakest finger. And that represents, in talking about the Articles of Confederation, the weak central government. So let's write there, weak central government, G-O-V-T. I hope you can see um, the weak central government there. Um, there you go. Let's see if I can get it focused. Weak central government there. It is your weakest finger, and that is one of the weakest parts of the Articles of Confederation. The next is uh, grab your yellow. Um, we're going to talk about our ring finger, um, and as you know, this is where wedding rings go. So let's draw a wedding ring on there in yellow to represent a gold wedding ring. And as you know, wedding rings cost a lot of money, but the problem was with the, with the Articles of Confederation, that the government, the central government, could not raise any money because they could not tax. And so let's write here, no money. And I, I drew a dollar sign. I, I hope you can see that. No money. No money. Okay. Let's, no money on your ring finger. Our next weakness of the articles, um, we need to grab our green. Um, and green represents land here. And without trying to be vulgar, we know that this middle finger has caused and can cause a lot of disputes. And one problem with the Articles of Confederation was there were a lot of boundary disputes. Boundary disputes, especially with the Northwest Ordinance. There were many states um, expecting to get that land from Virginia to New York to Pennsylvania. They were all fighting over this land. And that brings me to our next finger, our pointer finger. And I don't know about you, but if my mom ever used this finger and shook it at me, I knew I was in trouble and, and I knew I had done something wrong. And this finger represents um, the, the disagreements between the states. It represents the disagreements between the states. And so let's grab your red. Um, I'm going to use a highlighter. I think this one is going out on me. Um, but let's use our red to talk about the quarreling states. Quarreling states. And we know that the word quarrel, Q-U-A-R-R-E-L, means to fight. Talking about the fighting states, the quarreling states. And all of this, the, the weak central government, the, the no money, not being able to, to tax, the boundary disputes, the quarreling states, leads us to our thumb. And I don't know if you've ever went thumbs down on somebody or towards somebody, but you know that doesn't um, go over very well. If, if I give you the thumbs down, you know that I'm doing this disapprovingly, like I don't like what you're doing. And it's not like I'm showing you any respect. And so we're going to focus on the thumbs down as no respect. Okay? No respect. From 
other states, from other nations, and we're getting worried here that um, because of our quarreling nature, because of our weak central government, we're, we're not going to be respected as far as other states, uh, other countries go. And so this leads us to our last point, which I want you to grab your gray or your black, and we'll just use this lightly. And I want you to put your fist down in the middle of this. And, and let's, let's try to trace over this, trace over this fist here, getting our knuckles in there, showing our fist of anger as well as it uh, can possibly look here. Oh boy. Um, so this is our fist of anger. Okay. This is our fist of anger. And what happened, because of all of these problems, there was a man named Daniel Shays, a name, man named Daniel Shays. Um, yes, it sounds like it's plural, but his name was Shays. And um, what we need to talk about this is Shays' Rebellion. You see, Daniel Shays was very unhappy with the way the government was going and, and treating him as a farmer and his friends who were also farmers. They were putting them in jail because they couldn't um, pay their debts. But the government wasn't able to help them because the government had no money itself. And it just led to this big um, revolt between Shays and the government. And unfortunately, Shays and his um, fellow um, revolters lost this small battle, but it also helped the government realize that the Articles of Confederation were very weak and there needed to be a change. 